before you can even start developing a game, you have to make yourself familiar with the controls and basic movement of the Oculus Quest. In this tutorial I will show you how to use the prefabs comes with the Oculus Unity package to implement basic controls, hands and movement. To start I've created an empty project and set up all the settings necessary to run the game on an Oculus Quest. I also imported the Oculus Utilities package from the Asset Store. To help me building a sample scene, I added the Pro Builder package from the Package Manager. With Pro Builder installed, we can now start our sample scene by creating a Pro Builder cube. After creating the cube, you can open the Pro Builder tools by clicking the button and then choosing between different selection modes. If you select the face selection mode, you can select the face on this cube and expand it to any direction. Hold down the control key to snap it to the grid. Now it's very easy to create a sample scene by just using the Pro Builder tools and some basic manipulations. Here's a fast forward of my creation process. As we have our sample scene in place, we can now have a closer look at the prefabs the Oculus Utilities package comes with. Under VR and prefabs we have two important controllers we can choose from. The first one is the OVR camera rig, which main purpose is to replace the main camera in the scene. The second more advanced one is the OVR player controller, which also includes a simple character controller. Let's have a closer look at the first one, the OVR camera rig. Drag it into the scene and position it correctly. We can now remove the main camera as the OVR camera rig is a replacement for it. If we now build and run our project and put on the Oculus Quest, we can have a virtual look around in our sample scene. Now let's get rid of the OVR camera rig to put in the OVR player controller. Drag it in and position it correctly as well. If you now build and run the project, you have the possibility to move around in the sample scene out of the box. Use the left thumbstick to control your character. Let's take a closer look at the player controller. If we expand it, we can see all the different components. Especially the camera rig is an important part of it. Make sure to enable the recommended anti-aliasing settings and put in the Quest as a targeted device. There are different game objects for the left eye, for the center view or for the right eye. There are also game objects and anchors for the left hand and the right hand. If we now want to put some virtual controllers into our virtual hands, we can use some prefabs provided by the Oculus package. If you go to VR meshes, there are some predefined 3D models we can use. So for example, drag the left controller model to the left hand game object and the right controller model to the right hand game object. 
build and run the project to see the virtual controllers in your hand reacting to the movements of your hand. Now let's delete the controllers to put in some virtual hands. The easiest way to do it is to use a prefab from the avatar SDK. So go to avatar content prefabs and use the local avatar. Just drag and drop it into the tracking space. Make also sure to disable the third person view and the microphone. If you run your game now, you have some virtual hands reacting to your hand movements and finger movements. You can't interact with the environment yet, but I will show you this in the next tutorial, so stay tuned.